And now, Jonah Alkali joins us from Gombe State to tell us more about his feet. All the same. Glad to have you join us, Jonah. Hello, thank you very much. Yes, good afternoon. And uh, congratulations will still be in order going by what we see there. Uh, the children and indeed the entire community are happy with what you have been able to uh, achieve. So congratulations will be in order. But let's start by asking you how you felt when you realized that um, your effort was failing and you were unable to achieve that feat and how you're managing it even now. As a matter of fact, um, at the very point I discovered that there's going to be a failure when the heat began to increase, both from the surrounding environment, I was deeply crying inside of me because I knew that um, my act was not going to be achieved. I felt so bad deep within me. I felt so discouraged. I felt so disappointed. Um, at some point, tears began to drop out of my eyes because I could see the number of people out there waiting to see what they're going to achieve today. But I couldn't have to, I don't have to show it out for people to see. And then I just took this bold step to tell myself that, that I can come back and it's possible. Mm. You know, you still put Gombe State on the world map, map all the same. But upon reflection, what did you think you failed to do to prepare you well uh, for the stacking of the food to achieve that, uh, uh, is it 3.35 meters high food tower? What do you think you failed to do? So the just single challenge was the path. Actually, I needed to get a rigid path that are very strong, which can be able to absorb pressure from a very high uh, thing. So as we are going up, the pressure coming down begins to increase, and the bottom or the base part begins to exact that pressure. So if I had gotten a rigid container or a metallic container that can be able to absorb no matter what pressure, it would have been successful. So, Jenna, in the future, maybe next year, because reports say that you're attempting this feat again, you're going to make a second try. Uh, are you going to uh, attempt this particular food stacking um, feat or you're going to try something else? This same title, I'm going for it. Not next year, not in the next six months. I am thinking towards just four weeks because I know the challenge already. And I know what the problem is. And as it stands now, I have already, immediately yesterday, I've already obtained 200 kilograms of rice and 100 kilograms of beans. And I'm looking forward to see how I can generate um, funding to go and get rigid containers that I know that it can be able to sustain such a pressure. So I don't want to take chances. I don't want to waste time. This exact title, this same title, I'm going for it the soonest. Well, we admire your resolve and your determination to beat the world record, and we wish you all the best as you make a second attempt. Jonah Alkali, the man who attempted the world's food tallest tower in Gombe State, but failed, but says he's going to try again. Thank you for your time, and you have our best wishes in future endeavor.